Hey guys, welcome back. So here's the sketch. And there's not much in here, just a couple constants for the speed of the animation, some pins, some setup for the initializing the pins as outputs, and some simple loop to loop through rows and columns. So let me show you that it actually compiles. So I'm actually going to press Control U here. It's compiling. And now it's uploading. Let me show you that it really is this computer. It really is uploading. Darn, it's done. Let me do it again. <laughs> so here is the computer. I'm going to upload it. Compiling again. Okay, uploading very quickly. I'm going to go over there to show you that it really is blinking uploading there. And then when it's done, it says done uploading. And you can see it really is running. And to prove that this is not set before, I'm going to actually change the speed right here. Uh, 40, make it a little faster. Upload that again. And I'm going to go over here and watch it upload. There it is. And I'm going to go over there. And as you can see, now it's faster. So as you can see, the Arduino is running that code that I just now uploaded from here changing that speed and it is faster so and then as you saw in the previous way well I'll do it again I'm going to start unplugging stuff and it still works so how is that possible that the Arduino that I upload the program to is no longer connected other than power and it still runs the code <laughs> Okay, it's time to reveal a secret. Where should we start? Okay, as you saw earlier, this Arduino is really connected to the PC, and as you upload the program, it really is being used. But, he is not the Arduino that is controlling this display. It is actually not uploading it to this Arduino. Where you say it does it upload it to? It's uploading it to these quote-unquote shift registers. Uh, they are not shift registers. They may look like shift registers. They may be wired similar to a shift registers. But each of these are actually Arduinos. They're 80 tiny 84 chips, which are basically Arduinos. Currently, this Arduino is controlling the rows. And then this one goes that way. And so I turn one row on and then this guy turn the columns on and then these guys go to the next one and basically they are completely independent of each other and you could see sometimes it messed up and that's why I'm doing this really fast and there I think it just it just skipped because there is no timing between this one and that one and that actually is the real thing that I was working on when I discovered this magic trick because I thought it was kind of cool that once the programming is done he's actually not doing anything See, basically, I have two programs. Just now, I showed you only one of the programs. There are actually two of them. One of them programs this, the other one programs that, and they're slightly different, as you saw. The effect is, like, this one is moving one second at a time. This one scans those. So, that's the gist of it. Uh, oh, yeah, and these uh, switches, there is no chips underneath it. It's there because I need to be able to switch whether I'm using this Arduino to program that chip or to program that chip. The Arduino will be connected through these wires that I unconnected. It will go from here to the switch to the first chip if it's a switch that way. And then if I switch it that way, it will go to this chip. That's all it is. And I really appreciate all the comments. Keep them up and keep sharing. And I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.